Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. And today we are gonna take a look at the golf swing of Celine Boutier. Now, Celine is a professional golfer from France. She currently has a three shot lead in the Amundi Avion Championship, which is being held in France. Very, very solid golf swing. She's been playing some really amazing golf as of late. Let's go ahead and take a look at her swing. And the one key in her swing that's gonna help you improve your rotation and is one of my four parts of the circle of trust. As we go here and look at her swing, driver swing, very good setup here, nice wide base to be able to make a really big swing. Camera position's a little off here, that ball position is not as far back as it looks. As she starts taking the golf club away, you can see it's a rotation of the upper body, but as she gets the golf club here to her trail thigh, you can see she starts that wrist hinge a little bit. Left arm, is gonna be in this type of position. You can see the golf club starts to hinge, so that's where a lot of her power comes from, is gonna be in this wrist hinge. As she starts getting the club back, she keeps rotating, rotating back, but this is an awesome position here that too many amateur golfers do not have this position. Look at how she's hinged those wrists up. It's a greater than 90 degree turn of the wrists here. Too many times at this position, we don't see amateurs with enough wrist hinge. Their golf club's back in this area, but our wrists do provide us with a lot of power in the golf swing. So this is one of the keys you wanna have, is if you're struggling with distance in your golf swing, get those wrists hinging a little bit earlier in the swing. Now as she continues to rotate, upper body keeps moving to the top of the swing. She starts her downswing beautifully, beautiful down, downswing sequence. Left hip here, starts rotating, coming through. After she's transferred the weight over, you see a little bump to the lead side. Now she starts opening up those hips as she comes down, gets into a beautiful, beautiful impact position here. But this is the key that I wanna point out. I want everybody to focus here on what her right shoulder does. Too many times in this position, our body stops moving and the golf club keeps going. Our hands and arms are what's controlling the club. But if you watch Celine Boudier here, what she does is that right shoulder keeps moving and rotating. Even at this point here, you can see that the hands are directly in front of the chest. She has stayed perfectly connected through the golf swing because of the fact that her right shoulder has continued to drive through. That is the fourth and final part of the circle of trust is that at the end of the golf swing, when you're completed your follow through, that right shoulder has to be facing the target. Celine gets into a very, very good position here. You can see that left leg really nice and straight. She posts it up on that nicely, but the key to her distance, her power, and what's gonna help you out in the swing is number one, the wrist hinge, but number two is making sure that at your follow through, that right shoulder is completely pointed through to the target. That means you've rotated your body through impact with maximum speed, maximum power, generating maximum distance.